It's the middle of winter. We're in North Iceland, going to the island of Hrísey. The mission is to find and photograph ptarmigans in extreme winter conditions. We're on a mission in a small island in North Iceland looking for a white bird in completely white conditions is the Potamigan and uh, the island we're in is Hrise which uh, we believe is uh, the best place in the world to po photograph Potamigans. I've seen a few of them over there but getting close to them is not so easy. Finding them is one thing, getting a good photograph of them is more easier, easier said than done. Well, I'm in a good man. This is my wife, Gila Henningsdottir, joining me. And we're going to go on a mission in Hrise, finding the Potamigans. The reason we believe Hrísjö is the best, or at least one of the best locations to photograph ptarmigans is not baseless. There's a strong tradition of ptarmigan hunting in Iceland and it's one of the most popular holiday foods for the Christmas Eve dinner in many homes. Hrísjö is one of the few areas where hunting is not allowed. The townspeople of Hrísjö love this special bird and this is one of the reasons we like to go to Hrísjö photographing ptarmigans. Going to Hrísjö is quite special and at the same time very easy. Every day of the year the ferry Sævar goes every two hours from the village Áskósandur. The boat trip takes only 15 minutes and the drive from Akureyri, the town where we live in, takes only 30 minutes. The logo of Hrísjö is a ptarmigan. This fact shows how much the inhabitants of Hrísjö love this bird and in general the environment and nature of this special island. Hrísi is in Eyjafjörðufjörð and is the second biggest island in Iceland. It's over seven kilometers long and two and a half kilometers wide. About 156 people live in the island. It's possible to find ptarmigans in many locations in Iceland, but they are less shy in Hrísjö than in other parts of the country. The secret explaining why they are less shy lies in another tradition. They are used to being fed by good-hearted villagers who treat them almost like pets. Knowing how difficult it is to get close to this bird, it's amazing to be able to use a wide-angle lens to photograph it up close. When going to Hrísjö, we had high expectations of opportunities to photograph this normally difficult and shy bird. We have great memories of being in Hrísjö 10 years ago when we witnessed them being fed by the local Reiner Vikingsson. Since then the Potamigan population has been going down, but knowing how special Hrísjö is when it comes to Potamigans, we wanted to do our best to photograph them in winter conditions and hopefully under natural conditions.
You can hear them? Yeah, I can hear them. There's one over there. I don't see it. I can hear one over there. Yeah. And I think there are a few in the trees over there. I saw five there. Okay. Pretty near, near us. I can hear them, but I can't see them. 
Yeah, it's one over there. But the other one uh, behind the trees, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think we should walk maybe 10 meters. Yeah. And keep shooting. I think they are here now because it's snowing and, and it's early. I see one on the roof and I yeah. can hear one over there. of them in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight of them. The problem is that there's a house behind them, so it's not very natural to have a red wall in the photos or the video. them went. <laughs> but we are gonna go up near the tree. This trip to Rise, a small island in the north of Iceland, has been nothing short of amazing. We have been photographing uh, ptarmigans, this white bird in these white conditions. We have a lot of snow, the great weather. We've been here for uh, two days and uh, it's definitely the best place in the world to photograph this difficult bird. We've got some shots. Even though this is a great spot to uh, find this bird and photograph, we still had to walk around on our snowshoes, find them in uh, what I would call uh, natural circumstances, because even though we could find some ptarmigans inside of the town, we wanted to photograph them in uh, more 
natural surroundings. So we have been walking all around the island and having a good time in this great weather, trying to find some shots. I would encourage you, if you're uh, in, into wildlife photography, to uh, visit Rise, both in the summertime and in the wintertime, because uh, in the summertime you can also find them. They, of, of course, change color, but uh, in the winter time, it's very easy to go here. It's possible to take a, a ferry. The ferry is only 15 minutes from the mainland to, uh, to Rise. It's usually a very nice trip. So it's very easy to go here. Well, until next time, see you on the next adventure. <laughs>